Six games to play. Time for the pennant chase cliches. You can only control what you can control, so you can't worry about anyone else. You just got to win and hope things fall your way. That said, Reds two back of the cards for the division title. Tied with the Pirates as they start the first of three with the Mets at Great American. Well, the Reds get it done. It wasn't quite as easy as they would have liked it, but a win is a win. They get it done in 10. They put the first two on the board. The Mets get two back. The Reds put a man on third with nobody out in the ninth. Couldn't get him home, so Shin Su Chu, who was that man, decided to do it himself in the 10th. He knocked in Devin Mezzarocco. Johnny Cueto goes seven innings. He looks pretty darn good through that. Um, Joey Votto walked five times in this game. They get the win. They clinch a playoff berth. The Cards, the Pirates, and the Reds are all in. The order is yet to be determined. Pirates scored a run in the first in Chicago. Cubs tied it in the eighth. Pirates go up 2-1 in the ninth. They throw out the tying run at the plate for their first playoff spot since 92. And the Cards beat the Nats 4-3. Final in St. Louis. Reds clinch a playoff berth. Adam Jones seems to run into the police a lot. Another brush with the law, 2.30 Monday morning. Passenger in a car driven by a woman booked for driving under the influence. Jones cited for disorderly conduct. He's due in court Friday. Jeremy Miles claimed by the Ravens. Dre and Leon hobbled by hamstrings. Chris Crocker is coming in for a Bengals tryout tomorrow. Bengals Nation Wednesday night. Holy Grail, Leon Hall is scheduled to be our guest. We take from 6 to 8. Hope to see you there. Nice moment on Victory Parkway today. Xavier coach Chris One, Mack signed two, his youngest three, prospect five. ever. 12-year-old Trey Couch suffers from cerebral degeneration, which is currently has no cure. It affects his coordination, his balance, his muscle degeneration. In conjunction with team impact, this was done. Xavier made Trey's dream of being part of a D1 team come true by signing on the dotted line today. That's the interview room, right? Didn't they yeah, uh, interview him interview. like he was? Uh, yeah, players were in there. I think they asked him what his favorite team was, and he responded with Kentucky. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> that brought some. That brought some laughter.